What's up guys? I think the uh, respirator and the goggles might have been a bit much, but check this out. So I've been down here for a couple hours cleaning. Uh, it definitely smells like bleach, but I've gotten a lot of stuff done. One of which being this corner. If you remember, this was all black and I've scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed that and it's the best I can get it. Um, how's your day? How are you doing by the way? I've gotten everything moved around. I need to get this out of here, but it's it's much too heavy for me to take up by myself. I've been waiting on my brother Dallas to show up, but as you know, he uh, hurt his ankle, so he went to get that checked out, and uh, I don't think he'll be able to make it. So I gotta wait for someone else. Maybe PJ can come help me. But I will say, I got this stuff. Um, I was told it's the best at getting rid of the mold. However, I sprayed it, I sprayed a lot of it on that stuff and it did nothing. So what worked, what actually worked was bleach. Good old fashioned Clorox bleach. And I'm staying my distance because it's pretty, it's pretty uh, strong down there. I got the windows open and everything but where I'm at now is that is stained and it's definitely ruined some of the, uh, this is Kills, all this white stuff. That's a, that's a product called Kills that is supposed to keep moisture off the walls, but clearly it didn't. And I can't say it's, it's the Kills failing, it was the cracks in the walls from the foundation moving. I need a wire brush to finish getting all the loose stuff off so that I can, after that dries, I can put my dry lock on it and hopefully will be completely resolved after that. One of my last chores to complete down here for today, um, I need all these spots where I've cleaned all the bleach and all that stuff to completely dry before I can use the uh, dry lock stuff. So, so there's one more thing that I can do today and that is changing out the filters. So here's the old filter. I hope this isn't too disgusting. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. That's a dirty filter. I think that's been in there. I changed this at the beginning of summer, so that's that's like three months or so worth of nasty air. Look at that, man. Thank God for an air filter. Holy cow. This one's a 1500. Not sure what that number means, but I I looked specifically to cover mold spores. So I'm just going to plug this one in and I'm going to take a shower so I can go get the rest of my day done. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go see my mom. Uh, you guys remember, if you're a long time viewer, my mom had uh, uh, elbow surgery a little while ago. They put in some hardware and then she had to go back today to get that assessed and then reworked on. And it was either they were gonna take out the hardware and if everything looked good, they're gonna put her back together that way. And the other way was if the bone didn't heal properly, then they were going to completely replace the radial head in her arm. So thankfully, they didn't do the latter and uh, they just took out most of the hardware all except for one screw, because uh, it would have done more damage, I guess. But I am going to go and see my mama. Veronica and the kids are away. I sent them away so we didn't, you know, mess with their sinuses with all the mold cleaning and stuff. But um, they're away at Manda's, and I'm gonna go see how my mom's doing. Poor mama bear is hurt with their wings again, you guys. She's still a little bit. Thumbs up for mama. Make sure she sees it tomorrow. She'll be up on her on her phone looking at videos and stuff. Give mama bear some love in the comments. So I'm getting ready to leave my mom's house. Poor thing. She's so out of it, tired, sleepy. I didn't really want to film with her that much, but look how ironic it is. I finished the, the downspouts today. It is currently raining. 
knew I'd find Veronica just like this. Just, just sleeping right away. Well, guys, unfortunately, I drained most of my day downstairs in the basement and I just sent Veronica up to bed, so it's time to do one of these. <sighs> it's one of those, we all woke up late in the morning trying to get to the bus before we miss it. Come on, get those shoes on Colin. I need my coat. Need your book bag? Here. Let's go! You, you crack your eyes in the morning and you see that it's lighter than it normally is when you wake up, and then you have that moment of panic where you throw the covers off and you're like, oh crap. Yeah. High five, dude, because we made the bus. High five. Three high fives. Three high fives. Four high fives. I'm just kidding. All right, get out there. <laughs> oh no, you're locked in. Have a good day. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Z dog. Oh. What's your language? Alright, there's the bussy. Hey, Carson, won't you have a lovely day at school? Okay. Okay, have fun, love you. Adios, amigos. Ah! See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so I figured out what we're gonna do this morning. Um, Veronica actually has, I don't know where it came from, but she wants to start making these videos for the holidays about creating crafts. One for fall decor, or fun craft ideas that you can do to decorate for fall. And she's actually planning some like Christmas style gift videos that you can make to give to your friends or family. So um, I'm just gonna let her go with it. She's gonna take the baby and go get supplies and stuff. And we're gonna start plotting those videos. I'm actually working with a company called Kind. They make these fruit and nut bars. Um, and this, in this YouTube video is by no means endorsed or paid for or whatever, but I'm working with them, collaborating with them on an Instagram photo, and it requires me to go out and capture people uh, performing acts of kindness, random acts of kindness. And lucky for me, in our area, people do nice stuff for other people all the time. And even if I can't catch it, I can still help create the conditions for someone to do nice things for someone else. For instance, um, I wrote down a couple notes and we're gonna go into town and we're gonna try and you know brighten people's days by doing some kind acts. And you guys are coming with me. So, shall we? I actually had to stop at the bank and pay my mortgage. I'm kinda hungry, uh, which leads me to my first idea for my first act of kindness. Uh, the traditional pay it forward by the person in line behind you whatever they're getting so uh, let's see how that goes perfect I've been waiting for someone to pull in finally someone's pulling in to go inside so it looks like a dude by himself he's gonna have some lunch or something maybe just a coffee I'm gonna make sure to get in line right before he does so I can pay for his stuff so I just met a guy named Kirk who stopped in for only an iced tea, um, but I took a picture with him and uh, he was very grateful. It's funny how people will try to deny you to like pay for something for them. That's kind of a, I don't know, if you try to pay for something for someone, I feel like it comes off as, you know, they don't need your help. So let's try an act of kindness that requires no money at all. All right, so I'm at one of the busiest places on the block, and I've got an umbrella. It's raining outside. I think you know where I'm going with this. So I was lucky enough to catch a mom and her daughter and the baby, and brought them outside with the umbrella so the baby didn't get wet. Gosh, that feels good. That feels good right there. That feels good. Bye. Take care. Ah. Well, I've got another idea for. Uh, for a kind act, but it would require me to have kind of an accomplice, and the perfect person right now is Dallas, because as you know, he messed up his ankle and he went to the doctor yesterday and they needed to give him like a, a soft cast or a wrap or something, and crutches. So I need to go pick up Dallas for this one. 
Look at you, man. I remember when I started in an apartment like this. Yeah. Nice and small. Actually, exactly like this, pretty much. It's a townhouse, you know. The first apartment is a townhouse. It's this room, and the bedroom upstairs, and a bathroom, and that's it. But yo, nice couch, bro. Good starter couch. You got a nice little gaming center there with the uh, old school NES. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, so Dallas is my next. Ra so Dallas is my next random act of kindness. Because he's on crutches, um, I was like, how am I gonna capture someone just opening the door? I think this is such a subtle act of kindness that people often just disregard. Opening the door for somebody is actually really sweet and generous. So who wouldn't open the door for a guy in crutches? Oh dude, that was it. That was it, bro. Darren, nice guy. Thanks, dude. So AutoZone, notorious for guys coming in and out for parts for their cars and stuff. Uh, we just found a nice young gentleman by the name of Darren, who held the door for Dallas and uh, was kind enough to let us take a picture with him too. That's cool, we've done some kind acts today. Well, you helped with one, but we, we paid for a dude's drink at, at uh, Tim Hortons. We helped a uh, mom and her daughter and the baby out to their car while it was raining with the umbrella. And, and we caught a guy, a guy who actually held the door for Dallas. And uh, that's, that's some random acts of kindness today. I feel good about it. Yeah? Yeah. Mom actually called and said she would really love some Ritz crackers and some Sprite because she can't go anywhere, obviously. So we're gonna head down to this little grocery store here and get mom some crackers and some Sprite. But I thought another cool act of kindness would be to take her some flowers. You know, that always makes you feel good when you're, when you're down and out. You know, there's the idea that someone's thinking enough about you to get you flowers in the car. I think that's pretty kind too. So let's just keep the ball rolling. What do you say, Dal? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what is the off-rob deer deck? Dal's taking Pretty full cat. advantage. Nice. Here. Well, I'm, uh, here, you hold these, okay? Okay. Since you're a designated driver there. All we need now is just Sprite, dude. Sprite. Oh, it's a Band-Aid. Get it off, Dallas. <laughs> Get it off. Get it off. Get it. Ugh. Ew, it's a band-aid. Step on it. Step on it. Step on it. Step on it. <laughs> it's a band-aid. Oh, then it'll stick on mom. Oh, oh. It's a cleaning time. You're cleaning, you're vacuuming and stuff, huh? Yes, yeah, I'm vacuum and mom. Hi, Dad. Hey, big boy. I got skin You got what? Skin seed. Skin seed? Yeah, skin seed. Skin seed? Oh, a Minecraft thing. You see, Veronica called me a little bit ago and told me that poor Liza had a malfunction with her belly. Liza, what's the matter, girl? What's the matter? Is that what puke means, Nana? She said, baby Liza projectile vomited in the back seat multiple times. Five times within 40 minutes. Oh my gosh, that's not good, that's not good. But she, she hasn't since. Maybe she it was. She doesn't have a fever. She acts fine. She. Mm. It was just random. Uh, let's see what happens. We'll keep a close eye on that. We have to let her belly rest for a few hours and then give her something small. See if she holds it down. Okay. Well. I think we've run pretty much into as close to the evening that I'd like to be for today's video. Uh, we had a lot of fun today. Went out and did some acts of kindness that that uh, felt really good actually. It felt pretty good. And Veronica's gonna start making dinner. I have to go to my mom still. So I think this is where we're gonna leave you guys for today and we'll pick up pretty much exactly right here uh, and go to my mom with Dallas. And, and yeah, that's that. So uh, yeah. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see all of you right back here tomorrow.